to the film plane. Brand new channel, brand new series. I've been wanting to start for a while. We're going to talk about all things film photography. I'd like to go through cameras, some in-depth camera technical reviews, but also just some usage reviews. How they worked for me, how they've worked for other photographers, and if they're worth the pickup and keeping an eye out for. Uh, you can look forward to videos on films, film stocks that are currently available, ones that are recently unavailable but can still be found uh, within an acceptable ex expiration uh, date, and then all the way back through films that are no longer made and the formats are no longer made, but that you might come across in thrift stores, at garage sales, or in a box lot of other things you were interested in, um, and troubleshooting shooting those films and how to get the best results uh, that you can from them. Uh, we'll also be going through developing those films, printing all the way through the darkroom and to getting your work up on a wall or gifts for friends or to sell. Um, and of course exhibitions and things like that. Uh, I'd also like to do through this series recommendations of the folks that have done an amazing job at bringing a lot of this information to the masses. So there will be plenty of websites and bloggers and bloggers that I will be mentioning and referencing and of course linking down below to uh, that have just done a wonderful job of putting together information that I couldn't do that better than I'm going to send you their way because they, they already nailed it and there's no need to remake that information if it's available. I want to be a hub as well as a DIYer and share the knowledge that I have, but would also like to connect you to the folks that have put it out there already. Um, I'll also be doing a lot of book recommendations. That's something that I found uh, we could do a little bit more of in film photography when it comes to uh, beginners and the Google searches that are just long and hours filled <laughs> to find information uh, from from the old masters and from the folks that came from before us and created the rules that we follow and break nowadays and have created the technologies of that work as well. So I'll go ahead and start with my first quick book recommendation. That book will go into a little bit more in detail in its own series of videos. This one is Photography. This is the Upton version. So this one, Barbara London Upton with John Upton. Uh, you can find these pretty quickly and pretty cheaply. I don't believe the edition super matters. Um, later editions do get into some digital photography. So if you're looking for that, you would look for a later edition. But for the most part, it, there's nothing in here that isn't useful. Um, this is very year one photography for any photography student or student of. Um, We'll go through it a little bit, pick some spots that are going to be super helpful. You know, there's a couple dated things for developing that we will skip over, but mention so that uh, you're not unaware when it comes across. Um, but definitely my first recommendation, I probably paid a couple bucks for this uh, copy of it. I have, I think, multiple copies of it, and I do recommend that as well. Um, and introduction into my daily shooter. That is going to be the Minolta X. 700. Great camera, quick camera to get up and go with. It's a shooting it in all program mode, so you see all the greens lining up. Uh, it does a pretty good job with metering itself, but it does have full manual operation as well, so you can take full control over everything. This one's a little bit of beast mode. I have a computer back, data back, plus the motor winder. Uh, I do like this camera enough to have two copies of it for when the one will eventually break, and it will. Um, so that's this one here. So this one's more the plain version, version you'll likely find uh, at a thrift store or via Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and whatnot, which I actually found this one on Facebook Marketplace. Got a full kit with a lens, bag, couple filters, the manuals, extra batteries and things like that for $25, which admittedly for this camera is on the low end, but it is possible to just keep your eyes peeled. Uh, you don't necessarily recommend it as your first camera ever, and that is only because it needs batteries to operate. It is fully manual once it has batteries and it's firing up. So it's still a very good camera to learn on, but if you're just getting started, there are a couple other cameras that we'll be talking about in the near future that could be just a little bit better to start with. Um, so that's quick introduction to what it is I'd like to cover in this channel. Uh, we will do more in-depth 
reviews, of course. Uh, but I'm here to try and help you learn. So if you have ideas, if you have thoughts as to what you would like to see next or more of, of course, please comment below. Tell me what you would like next, very much next. Do you want to jump right into the dark room? Do you want to jump right into a technical review of, well, the X700 or any other camera that you might think of? Um, message me if I have it, we'll, we'll put something together. Um, well, again, if you want to see immediately a film comparison or just the run through of a specific film, we'll take it out, shoot it for the day, develop it, print from it, and we'll do a full review on that film. Uh, so let's stay in touch, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, let's, let's get into some film photography and have some fun. All right. We'll see you next time.